I keep my SD cards in little cases and you can see on the back that there they are there and I have here Simcoe which is right up here and I have Erie which is down here well they were a little distance apart and I made the mistake of combining my Simcoe and Erie chips and that's getting dangerously high in waypoints so I needed to fix that up so I needed to basically make specific lake chips so this video is going to show you how to do it and I think it's going to be very helpful for some of you so as always if you find the video enjoyable or helpful a like share subscribe is always very much appreciated I probably have about 700 waypoints on Rice Lake and I have a tournament coming up in the next few weeks so this chip is isolated and it's a, again a workable number so this is just another example of isolating a specific lake with its own waypoints if i take my 700 plus waypoints on rice and i add up my probably a thousand waypoints on lake simcoe and I come down here to Erie and I probably have about another thousand waypoints. I'm already pushing close to 3,000 waypoints and that will max out the unit on a helix. So I need to make sure that I understand that and that is one of the reasons that you want to make specific lake chips. Saving all your waypoints on one unit simplifies the process of making individual lake chips and I highly recommend doing that. I have an old video on my YouTube channel that's titled Don't Make This Mistake. And back then when we put the card in, the SD card, and it said, would you like to upload the nav data? And then I said yes. And then the next time I put it in, I said yes. So effectively I just doubled up the waypoints and I had to clean up things a lot and so I had to learn how to get rid of waypoints and the old way I did it was one by one by one by one and it took absolutely forever. So pay attention, this is going to save you a lot of time if you ever intend to make your individual lake chips because you are starting to overload on your waypoints. So my task here is to get rid of all of those waypoints up on Lake Simcoe and then I just want to have my chip for Lake Erie. I've already done my Lake Simcoe chip and isolated it so that I have all the waypoints that I need and brought it way down to a much better workable number. First step in the process here is to hit menu, menu, and we go to the nav tab, go down to waypoints, routes, and tracks, and then we are going to go to the top and we're going to sort by distance. And that distance is going to be the first thing we do before we go down to our options here. Once you get the hang of it, you will understand. I'll do a brief example for you and let's get right to it. So I'm going to hit menu and I'm going to hit menu again and I'm going to go to the nav tab at the top. I'm going to go down to waypoints, routes and tracks and I am looking at my options and the options I'm going to right cursor and I'm going to go to select multiple and and I'm going to delete. Now, I'm only selecting multiple. I'm not selecting all of them, so I, I hit the delete button, and now it goes down to the first waypoint. So now I look at it, and I say, I am making a Lake Erie chip, and I know Port Dover is on Lake Erie, so I go down through, and I can see the map over here showing Nanako Creek, and basically, you are seeing all Lake Erie waypoints. So I am good. I am not doing anything at this point. 
about 500 waypoints later because I'm sorting by distance and that makes complete sense. The waypoints were all on Lake Erie. So this is the first one that is on Lake Simcoe. And once again, I am trying to isolate Lake Erie. So now I have earlier selected select multiple and delete. So now I've got the waypoint highlighted. I know it's on Lake Simcoe and I right click it and I go down and you can see that the box is highlighted. And this is another one on Lake Simcoe and I right click it and there are, and I go down and there's another one. I right click it and you get the idea. So now what I'm going to do is a quick way to do this is I'm going to hit exit and you see the done comment there at the top right here. I'm going to write cursor and it says confirm deletion. So it's going to eliminate these three waypoints and I'm just doing a small block so you get the understanding and I am going to confirm deletion and it's processing the tracks and it didn't take very long and it went back unfortunately for me to the beginning if I was doing this all the way through I would not have stopped at three I would have just kept going until I had all of the Lake Simcoe waypoints highlighted and then I would have confirmed the deletion and then they would have been gone so that gives you a simplistic view of how to eliminate it and now I will continue on and I will go back and I will highlight all the other ones. There will be a point where there is some overlap. I'll show you that in a little separate video clip. And that will be because the distance to Lake Simcoe where I fish and some of the distances to Lake Erie are the same. And so I may have a Lake Simcoe waypoint that I'm going to highlight and delete. And then I'm going to have a Lake Erie waypoint that I'm going to not right cursor because I want it to stay. And that way I will eventually get to the point where all of my Lake Simcoe waypoints are deleted. These are all Lake Simcoe waypoints that are highlighted and then I'm back to Lake Erie. And again, I'm getting some of that crossover. So I will do this at the very end where I'll hit done and it will get rid of all the Lake Simcoe waypoints. So I'm just gonna continue on with the process. This is showing you over here a Simcoe, Erie, Erie, Simcoe, Erie, Erie, Simcoe, Simcoe, Erie, and you can clearly see which ones are going to be deleted. Well, that was quite the process. I have a lot of waypoints on Lake Simcoe and I was going very quickly. I'm sure that there is some that I may have inadvertently left in there and I will be able to check that. And so now I didn't want to make you sit through that painful process. So I am now going to hit the exit button. I've got all of the select multiple and delete ones that I want to get rid of are highlighted. And once again, they're highlighted by the yellow rectangular box. I'm going to hit exit and that's going to go jump to the done button so that I have that completed. I'm going to write cursor and it's going to say confirm deletion. Yes. And it's going to take a little bit to process. And we'll let that happen. Like I say, there was probably about a a thousand waypoints and that's why I wanted to get rid of it because for some reason I accidentally combined Lake Erie and Lake Simcoe and those are two of my favorite lakes to fish so I I messed up and it happens sometimes what are you gonna do so now what we are seeing here is we are seeing that there are still waypoints, which is good because I wanted to keep all of my Lake Erie waypoints. So now I'm going to exit out of this. And now I can see by looking up here that there is still a number of waypoints up here on Lake Simcoe that I have to get rid of. And I will go back in and I will once again, you know, get rid of those last few waypoints. So it looks like I missed about 10 waypoints. So I can see up here 2251, 
So I'm just gonna bring my cursor up to it and I'm not gonna go through the other process. The cursor is over the waypoint, it's highlighted. I hit menu and it's waypoint 2251 and I'm just going to delete it this way. So I go down to delete. Yes, I wanna delete it. So therefore it's gone. And then I can just basically exit out of that and then I can look around and you can see that, you know, I've got rid of, you know, basically all of the waypoints. So for example, there's one up here and I'll just bring the cursor over to it. And again, I'll just get it highlighted. It's highlighted there outlined in red. I hit menu and the waypoint is 2311 and I hit delete. And yes, I wanna delete it. And I will just uh, go through and clean up those last six or seven waypoints, whatever they are. And then I will show you how to finish up. There it is, Lake Simcoe. My waypoints are all gone. Of course, I saved them onto my Lake Simcoe card uh, when I did the other deletion of Lake Erie and it was just the opposite. I deleted the Lake Erie waypoints and I saved the Simcoe waypoints so that I had that card and it was definitely a pain that I could have avoided but we all make mistakes and I know if you were like me who originally deleted one waypoint at a time someone out there is going to really appreciate this video because it is going to save them a lot a lot of time and for those that have simply wanted to make individual lakes you will now know the process and this is why I encourage people to do this from the beginning and if you have a lake that you're going to save a ton of waypoints on especially if you're a helix user that I suggest that you make individual cards, save them on the cards, and then you will have that from the beginning. Uh, however, if you have a lot of waypoints and you need to make individual chips, then this is the way to do it. And as I say, I know that somebody out there is going to find this video very, very helpful because I wish I had seen it when I had first done this instead of doing them one at a time which took absolutely forever. So now we can see that I have my Lake Erie waypoints they are all on there and now I need to make sure that I save them to my SD card. I just pulled out my SD card from the unit and I basically just wanted to make sure I had my Erie card in there and it's now asking me to upload the nav data from the SD card. I do not want to do that because the data is already loaded and if I upload it again then I'm going to double up on waypoints and I do not want to do that and plus that Erie card was the one that had all of those Simcoe waypoints. So I would have to do it all over again. So I am going to hit no, that I do not want to upload that data. And now I am going to save it. So I'm going to hit menu, menu, and I'm going to go into waypoints, routes and tracks. And I'm going to go to options and I'm going to go to select all and I want to export those Lake Erie waypoints onto my card and I am hitting the right cursor as it suggested and it says save tracks waypoints and routes to the MMSD card overwriting it and I want to say yes and my nav data has been successfully exported to the card so now I am back to where I wanted to be and I have all of my Lake Erie waypoints on an SD card without the Lake Simcoe waypoint. So now I have a very workable number and I'm a happy camper again. I'm gonna take you through this process one more time. Here is Erie 2 and it is a good idea to have a backup chip 
And once again, I have the waypoints on there. So I'm going to put my backup chip in there. And when it says, do I want to upload the data? We all know the correct answer is no. Because I don't want to double up the waypoints. So now I've got my backup chip in there and I am going to go once again to options and I'm going to go to select all and I want to export and I'm going to export and to save them and it says nav data successfully exported to MMSD card. I'm going to take it out of there and I now have the data saved on two cards. If the card happened to be faulty the next time I went to put it in, I could possibly be out my waypoint. So that would be disastrous. And I do not want to have that happen. So that extra SD card is my insurance policy. Now, I am not going to Lake Erie the next time I am going. So I need to get rid of those waypoints off of the machine. And that's likely where I got into trouble because I uploaded data, probably going from Lake Erie to Lake Simcoe. And then now I had the Simcoe situation on there and the Erie waypoints. And, you know, and then I had to go through this whole process. But again, if you've learned something through the video, then it's worthwhile. So last step. I'm going to go to options and I'm going to now select all of the waypoints and because I have them saved on my SD cards, I am now going to delete them. And do I want to delete all saved tracks and waypoints? Yes. And I know it's hard sometimes the first time you're th through it uh, will make you a little bit nervous. And I have a lot of waypoints on Erie, so it's going to take a little bit of time to actually have them deleted. But there they are. I have an empty group and I have no waypoints. So the next time I go to my next lake, which I am going to be going to Rice Lake, which I have a tournament coming on in a couple weeks, I will upload the data for Rice Lake and it will only be Rice Lake. So that's how you do it. The last two sections of this video will share my written instructions I used for this video. Plus, it will show you a review of how to go through the process. Let's take a moment just to review the steps here, as it may be easier for some of you to have some written directions. So I have it under making specific lake chips. Well, as you know, in this case, I messed up. So I'm going back to isolating Lake Erie and Lake Simcoe so that I didn't have them doubled up. So you hit menu, menu, and you go under the navigation tab, and then you scroll down to waypoints, routes, and tracks. Once you're in there, you are going to get to sort by distance, and you're going to select multiple and delete. And once you do that, it's going to go down to the waypoints, and it will show you them in the list. And that is where you will right click using the cursor arrow and it will highlight the box. And as you have seen in the previous section of the video that it is going to be highlighted in yellow. And I know on some of the older units it was highlighted in blue, but uh, let's just stick to the yellow for now. And then what you do next is to go to the next waypoint, you hit the down cursor and then you hit right cursor if it's one that you want to delete. If you don't want to delete it, you just simply scroll down to the next one and again, check the map. And then if it's on the lake that you want to delete it, then you right cursor and it will become highlighted in yellow. Here's the rest of my original note when I did it way back when and my units were older units and I had a 998 and a 958 and they had the blue but let's follow along anyways and you can just substitute as needed so each time you right arrow the waypoint turns blue and as we've discussed that was 
on my older units with the 998, 958, but in this case, it is going to highlight the box in yellow. And when you do this, it shows the waypoint on the map. And that was in the right hand corner, as you saw. And that allows you to see where it is and whether or not you want to get rid of it. If you want to get rid of it, you leave it blue by, or in this case, yellow, because you've right cursored on it. If you want to keep the waypoint in there without getting rid of it, you just scroll down to the next one without right clicking on it. And you continue through the waypoints until you only have the good waypoints left. In other words, the ones that you want. This way you can isolate a lake area of your choice. And as in the case of my mistake, I am just simply getting it back to Lake Erie or Lake Simcoe. And then once you have finished doing all of the waypoints, all the select multiples that you want, and you have them highlighted in yellow with the helix or blue in the older units, then you are going to confirm deletion. And you'll see my notes, it's way quicker because it was painfully slow the way I did it before. And this is a good tip. If you hit exit at any point, it will go to done. This avoids arrowing up through all the waypoints. And that is a considerable time saver. So I hope this summary helps. I know it's been a while since I've had to do it. And it was definitely a good refresher course for me as well to go through this process of making specific lake chips for the purpose of reducing your number of waypoints on your units into more workable numbers, or as in the case of this video, because I simply made a mistake of doubling up my waypoints by adding Lake Erie and Lake Simcoe together. Let's make those notes come to life with a more detailed summary here. When I need to make a specific lake chip, I'm going to hit Menu, Menu, and go to the Nav tab. And then from the Nav tab, I'm going to scroll down to Waypoints, Routes, and Tracks. From there, I go up to the top, and I'm going to sort by A to Z, and I have Z to A as an option. I have Newest. I have Oldest and I have distance. There is one more that is icons, but we're going to use distance in this example. For me, the distance to Lake Simcoe and Lake Erie are basically the same. Therefore, I may have a spot that is on Lake Simcoe that is two hours away, and I may have a spot on Lake Erie that is two hours away. So as I am going through the process of selecting multiple and deleting, I may have a waypoint that is on Simcoe that I delete, and then the next one is on Erie that I keep. And it may alternate, and there will be times when I'm at a further distance and all of the waypoints are in Lake Simcoe, and towards the end I just deleted a whole bunch of Lake Simcoe waypoints because that was where they were. The map is very key in determining where those waypoints are and it helps you determine what to eliminate. This distance will be from my current location which I'm sitting in my garage so the distance for me to Lake Erie depending where I'm fishing could be two hours the same with Lake Simcoe, the distance could be two hours. Therefore, you understand how you get that overlap in the distances. The next step after sort by distance is going down to options. And I just use my cursor arrow down and I'm going to right cursor since I'm looking for my options. I'm not making a new waypoint. So I am going to select multiple and, and I'm going to hit delete. And as soon as I hit the delete button with the right cursor, it's gonna take me down to this first waypoint. And that waypoint will show up on the map that's hidden here. I don't necessarily wanna show you all my waypoints, especially a specific one like this one. So I'm not going to do that right now. So once it is on this waypoint, 
then I am either, if I wanted to get rid of it, I will highlight it with the right cursor. And if I want to keep it, I will just simply keep scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. And in this particular case, this is uh, Rice Lake and it is, you know, all set and I don't want to, you know, delete any waypoints from it. So at this stage, I'm just showing you, you know, again, a summary of how to get to the stage of using those notes that I had just shown you previously. Mission accomplished. As always, if you find this video enjoyable or helpful, a like, share, subscribe is always very much appreciated. Take care and bye for now.